great at what it is that you decide to do in life. There is no, it should be never be, you can't do something. That should never cross your mind. Anything you put your mind to do, do it wholeheartedly. Okay, welcome back, everybody. I'm Johnny Torres on a live call, and uh, we have the privilege to have international best-selling author who's now segueing into film, Sonovia Walker. Sonovia, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Okay, I appreciate your time. Uh, I know you have a busy schedule. Um, Sonovia, for people that are, you know, that already know you and people that are, it's the first time getting to know you, can you just tell us a little bit more about who you are and your background, where you grew up? Okay, well, I'm from Jamaica, Queens. I have four children. I'm married. I'm a writer. Um, I write um, books. I write plays. I write web series. I'm starting my pilots. I'm doing a short film. Um, that's about it. Wow. An amazing woman. You have a lot of stuff going on. So um, I, I, I congratulate you for that. Thank um, you. Can you tell us, um, you know, right now you're segueing into in, into film. You know, you started out writing. Um, why did you, why writing? This is a hobby I had since I was seven years old. I've been writing since the age of seven. It's a funny story. I tell this story every time I'm interviewed by someone. Um, when I was young, my mom it was very old fashioned. She liked them black and white movies. So, and there was only one TV in the house, which was in her bedroom. And anytime we wanted to watch TV, cartoons, whether it be anything we wanted to watch, we couldn't watch it. We had to watch a black and white movie. So, being that I hated watching those movies, I would get a pen and a notebook and I would rewrite the movie in my own liking. So, whenever we had to watch those movies, I would be reading my work. So, it's been an interest of me writing since the age of seven. Wow, that's that's very cool. So, so basically, um, the, the hobby developed into into this skill that you know has allowed you to achieve you know these great these great accomplishments. Absolutely. You know, um, you you mentioned the word family. You know what what are you know what is the most important thing for you in your life? That would be my family. Like I um. I always tell people I'm very family oriented. I um, am very close with my immediate family, my grandparents, their kids, which is my aunts and uncles, all my cousins. We are very close. We literally live three minutes apart from each other. We always together. I mean, when you see one, you see us all. So I'm very family oriented. Family means a lot to me. They're my number one supporters. No, again, uh You've managed to accomplish, you know, great, great things and uh, and have a lot on your agenda. How important is that support system for someone to be able to, to succeed? You need the support. I'm telling you, support has to start at home first. My husband is supportive of me, my children, even though they're young, but they give me that space like, okay, mom got to do this. Let's do this. So let's get out of her way. Let's go in the room, do what we do and leave mommy to do her work. So the support has to start at home. Because if your family don't support you, nobody else is going to support you. It doesn't mean more to you with outsiders before it means more to you from people that have watched you grow. That support needs to be there. You know, earlier in the conversation, you know, before we started doing the interview, you know, we were talking about... Um, some of, some of the milestones that you've been uh, recognized for, and uh, and and I believe your family's uh is, is putting a like an event together for you. Can you can you elaborate on that? Yeah, um, my sister called me one day. She said, "What's wrong with your timeline?" I told you, "Me." She said, "I'm trying to write something on your wall, and I want to post something, but you got it black." I said, "Okay, well, tell me what it is." No, I don't want to tell you what it is. She just unblock your wall, so I unblock my wall. And then she calls me, she says, go on your Facebook and see what I wrote. And she wrote a message up there saying that um, to all of my sisters, friends, authors, supporters, we would like to invite you to a 
birthday slash um, acknowledgement party for Zenobia. And it's to acknowledge her for all the hard work that she's done. Her family is very proud of her, and we want you all to come and share this moment with her. And I was just, like, so shocked, like, wow. Okay, that was so exciting. So amazing that they would even think to put something like that together for me to acknowledge what I'm doing. That's very cool, a, a beautiful thing. So, so when you know when you're not writing, when you're not working, you know what are some of the things that you do for fun? Um, like I said, me and my family, me and my actually me and my aunt and my cousin, we just came back from vacation, so we like to go away a lot. We just came back from Mexico, from Cancun, for a week. Um, during the week that um, I think it was winter recess, or yeah, we had to be winter recess because spring isn't here yet. But we went away, and I had a blast. So, you know, when I'm not working and doing any work, I'm with my kids and with my husband and with my family. We do things. We go out, especially on birthdays, like a birthday every month. So we always celebrate each other's birthday. We all get together. We just go out. So, you know, I have fun. I do have an outside life, outside of writing. How was Cancun like? Like, what was your favorite part about your, the vacation? Oh my God! Oh. <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> okay, just seeing another culture and how they reacted to me and my aunt and cousin being there, uh, it was amazing. I mean, the spotlight was on us. Um, everywhere I go, I promote myself. So, you know, I was telling, I had my books on board with me, and you know, I was selling books while I was there, um, getting to meet people. You know, it was a lot of people, a lot of Canadian people that were there, um, actually that day that we were there, the week that we were there. So I got to meet a lot of people, got to ask them about their culture, things that they like besides partying because it was party central there. And, you know, it was, I really had fun. I really had a lot of fun. It was an amazing experience. Nice, nice, very nice. Okay, uh, Sonovia, you know, for uh, for a young lady or, you know, just for um, anyone in general who wants to pursue writing or wants to turn, you know, their creative skills or hobby into something more, um, what advice would you give to them or can you give to them? Well, you know, there are certain markets that you can go to to write books and publish books. But if you decide to go to a publisher, if this is what you dream to do, I would always tell anybody that comes into this writing industry to make sure you research people. Because not everybody has your best interest at heart. Some people are very cruel and are out there to cheat and, and take people, things that don't belong to them. So you have to be very careful coming into this industry. Any industry dealing with money, you have to be very careful. Do your research, do your homework, make sure you know exactly what it is that you're looking for, see if these people can meet your expectations before proceeding and going any further. What philosophy do you live by? Okay, the philosophy I live by, I like I said, I'm a Christian. So I have to use daily Bible quotes to get me through anything, the day, anything. And one that stands out to me the most, what I always go by is no weapons that's formed against me shall prosper. This is what I go by. This is what I live by. Now, now how important is that spiritual aspect, like really to, to get you going, to motivate you, um, how important is that in, in a person's life, you know, to be able to accomplish, you know, just basic goals? Well, I'll say this. I I have my grandfather, who's a bishop. My uncle's a pastor. I go to church faithfully every Sunday. I actually sing on a praise and worship team. So my belief, my faith is is very strong because I've been in church all my life. And it's been installed in me so from the, uh, from the youth. So, you know, it's very important to me to live by what I'm being taught to help me throughout the week to overcome certain situations, to overcome doubt, 
anything negative, anything positive, I have to always keep God first. Very cool. You know, you, you know you're just a person that is, you know, multi-talented. Um, you know, how do you do it? Like, where do you do it? Where do you get inspiration, you know, like, uh, you know, to, to do all this create, t- creatives? Um, I, listen, this is, this is so, like, when you have a passion for something, you can be motivated by, motivated by anything. I mean, I'm, I get my motivation. I can go outside and I can watch people walk by me. And if somebody is frowning, I can automatically assume, not to say that it's the truth, but I can assume that they, something, something is wrong. Like they're going through something. So with me being a writer, now I'm going to pick up and be like, okay, I can make this person a character. And so my motivation comes from anything. I can look at somebody and, and write a story on them. Just off what I see. Life ain't that bad. Why you got to be frowning? Put a smile on your face. It's okay. You're amongst the living. That's enough for you to smile. So it could be at any point. It's not like, hey, I'm going to put on the on button and the off button. I, I guess it's nah, something it can that happen just, at any natural. Moment. It's very natural. Because it's something I've been doing since I was seven. I'm 35 now. So that's a lot of years to be writing. Yeah, a lot of experience. Um, in, in, in your journey, you know, as far as interpreting life, you know, what has been um, most rewarding for you? Um, I would have to say when I received a phone call from a company called Strathmore, who's who worldwide, and they, I don't know how these people found me, I I kid you not, um, and they called me and they invited me to uh, a banquet, so I wasn't going to go, but then I was like, you know what? You know, these people reached out to me. I Googled them and found out that they were, you know, a legit company. So let me just go and see what it's about. And they honored me, which I didn't know. They honored me and gave me a plaque saying that I was the best person um, that achieved many accomplishments in a year's time, but the year 2015 in my line of work. And I thought that was amazing. Like, for somebody that I have never known about, never knew about their company, never knew, and it's worldwide, that was an amazing experience for me. It's a very big deal. Very big deal. The, the whole recognition. Absolutely. What do you want to let people know about you that they don't already know? Um, besides the writing... You know, I am a person. I am just as normal as everybody else. I do the same thing everyone else in the world do. I'm not the type of person that look over people and and not talk back to people, respond to them. I, I don't consider myself, you know, um, celebrity or anything like that. I just live my life normal and You know, if you get to know me or know anything about me, you would know that I'm just a sweet person if you you don't get on my bad side. But I'm a sweet person. You know, I'm a mother. I'm very loving. You know, I'm very just, I'm just me. I'm just me. I I don't pretend to be anybody else other than Zenobia. Very cool. You know, I just wanted, you know, to thank you, you know, for letting us get to know you uh, a bit more um, and just, you know, appreciate your time. So I wanted to thank you. Thank you. Okay. Can you just remind everybody, you know, how they could find you online, where they could purchase, you know, your books, any information that, you know, that can help them learn more about you and your brand? Um, I'm on... Um Facebook as Sonovia Walker Alexander. Um, let me spell my first name. It's S-O-N-O-V-I-A. 
Um, my Instagram is at Zenobia Alexander. Um, my Twitter I, um, is at Mrs. Flick. That's with two Z's. M I Z Z E S F L I C K. Um, I think that's all with the social media because I don't do Snapchat and all those other things. Um, what was the other thing you told me that I'm um, give them? Um, if you could give them the name of your of the publishing company of Snow Publishing, any any oh, anything my that company. Is, that, that, yeah. Right. Okay. My company is Snow Publishing. I am the CEO of the company. Um, I have 20 great authors under my company. Um, you can find our books on Amazon, um, Barnes and Noble. There is some libraries. So yeah, that's oh, about wow. it. Wow. 20 authors. So people could could actually submit work to your company as well. Yes, um, they oh, can wow. submit three chapters of their work um, to Snow Publishing at AOL dot com. Oh, really? Okay, I have just two more questions for you. Um, mm -hmm. For someone who wants to get into writing, you know, what is the process of them? You know, getting them, getting their work to your company. Okay, well, we will want you to have the book already completed. And as I stated before, you will send three chapters of your work to Snow Publishing at AOL.com. Um, rather, myself, my COO, or one of the editors will check and um, go over the work. And if it meets the requirements of what we're looking for, then you know we'll proceed from there. Okay. And you guys put out actual hard uh, print print media, uh, basically. It's not just yes. online. This is actual print media publishing. Yes. Okay. Um, so, Novi, I have all an, another question. You know, you you sell the series uh, online on Amazon. So, what are they getting when they purchase when they purchase the series, the, these books? What are they getting? Um, they're getting full length great novels. <laughs> 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 Absolutely, I, and again, you know, uh, you know, you earned the title bestseller, so uh, just some am ama amazing work. Okay, so I, I just wanted to thank you again. Um, thank you for your time. Okay, hello. Yes. Okay. Okay. I mean, is there anything else that you would like to, to you know, to express or let the people know? Um. Just be great at what it is that you decide to do in life. There is no, it should be never be, you can't do something. That should never cross your mind. Anything you put your mind to do, do it wholeheartedly. Nice. And those are, those are, that's, those are your own words. That's a, um, that's an amazing.